What's going on guys, Alex here, and uh, today we're going to take a look at, uh, obviously we have a bunch of barrel backs laid out in front of us. Uh, the objective of today's video is to go ahead and see how accurate uh, the measurements are when it comes to bore size. Now obviously each one of these barrel backs is made to specifically be a specified bore size that the factory says this is what we made it at. Um, however, machining and that kind of stuff is not always super precise, and a lot of that goes into uh, the the, uh, the quality of the machines that they are using, and then obviously the quality control of the company itself, of whether they actually check to see. Um, obviously, there's certain pass values and certain fail values of, you know, everybody has tolerances of it can be so far off, or it can be, you know, so far off in one side or the other, and that kind of thing. Um, so I've got a an array of uh, barrels laid out here in front of me. We have over here, I've got two examples of each, so we just don't do one. Um, you know, we can really try and uh, grab two and kind of see, you know, if that's going to be a tendency for that type of barrel or not. Um, so starting off over here, we have a standard uh, die ultralight barrel. Uh, right here, these two are clip shaft four barrels. Uh, these two, the semi-recently infamous uh, Empire Pipe Barrel. Uh, these two right here, uh, the die glass fiber slash carbon fiber boomstick. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you have because the inside is going to be the same. Uh, the outside is the only thing that's different between those two. Uh, we have two freak inserts right here. Uh, these are two backs from the um, last year's uh, newest addition to the family, the Azodin carbon fiber barrels. And then right over here at the end, um, we have two uh, custom products, two-piece uh, barrel backs. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take my electronic calipers, and I'm going to go ahead and um, measure the uh, the bore size on the on the inside of these barrels. And I'm just going to jot down what the difference is between what it actually says on the barrel, what what it should be and what it actually is, and then afterwards you can just run down real quick and see which company was the most accurate with their um, sizings. So let's go ahead and just start off from, um, well, my right to left, I think that's probably gonna be uh, your left to right, but uh, starting off with the die UL barrels. Uh, so this first one says it's a .684. If we go ahead and measure, it is .685 right on the dot, so that's, uh, 0 .001 off. It's not too bad. Uh, the next one, this red back, is also going to be a .684. And it is .685 on the dot again, so uh, .001 off on that as well, which I think is pretty solid. That's not too bad. Um, it says 0 0.684, they're actually 0 0.685, that's not too big of a difference. Let's go ahead and grab the Eclipse Shaft 4 barrel backs. Uh, this one says it's 0 0.681. This is 0 0.681 exactly. So no difference on the Shaft 4 barrel between what it's labeled and what it actually is. Pretty solid, I'm liking that. And uh, this gold shaft four back also says it's supposed to be a 0 .681. Come on, my finger keeps slipping on the little wheel, sorry. Uh, 0 .683, so that's actually a 0 .002 difference. So one was dead on the money, the other one was two sizes off. I'm going to refer to a size as 0 .00 whatever, you know, 0 .681, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm just going to refer to that as a, each one of those is an individual size. So obviously we've already done the pipe barrels in a recent video, but we'll go ahead and do them again just for the purposes of this video. 0 .688, you can see the giant letters right there printed on the barrel. So it says it's 0 .688. It's actually, if I can stop slipping on the stupid wheel, Come on, don't don't be like that. There we go. Uh, 0 
and it keeps fluttering between 0 0.690 and a half and 0 0.691. So we'll go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt that it's 0 0.690 and a half. Um, so that's still um, 0 0.0025 off. Which I believe is what that one came out to be in the other video, which means this one should be the other, the super big one. This is also supposed to be 0 0.688 as well, the other Empire back. And this is, yeah, 0 0.691 and a half. So that is one, two, three point zero point zero zero three five off, which is fairly big. That's almost four sizes off. All right, so now we've got the die. This is these are these two are glass fiber boom sticks. But if you grabbed a carbon fiber boom stick, it wouldn't make that big of a difference. Um, this says it's supposed to be 0.684. Let's go ahead and measure the inside of that. This is coming out to 0 0.685 and a half, so that's 0 0.0015 off. So almost two sizes off, not not as good as the regular die ultralight barrel so far. Let's try the other one. This is supposed to be a 0 0.684. Let's go ahead and measure that, and this is coming out to 0.684 and a half. So it's point zero 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 five off so that's only half a size off that's not too bad that's pretty that is pretty good as far as i'm concerned so a little bit of fluttering between the two but still not too terrible um so far the ul the ultralight backs are pretty pretty okay the shaft four backs um you know between the two they're pretty they're pretty okay uh the pipe barrels are definitely um, a little bit off. Um, these, the glass fiber boom sticks are doing all right. Uh, let's try the freak inserts. This is a 0 0.689 freak insert. Let's go ahead and measure the inside of that. 0 0.689 and a half, so it's 0 0.0005, just like the last die one. 0 0.0005. Keep my line of barrels nice and pretty. Uh, this is supposed to be a 0 0.687 insert. Let's go ahead and measure that. Come on, sit. Keep getting a million different readings. Let's see if I can get it to just settle. 0 0.689, so it's two sizes off, so it's 0 0.002 off. Now for freak inserts, when they're trying to, when they're doing an insert for every single individual size, that's really a huge difference because this one is actually the same exact size as that one, even though that's half a size bigger. So if you really want a 0 0.689, apparently you're going to have to use this 0 0.687 insert. So who knew? So now the Azodin carbon fiber barrels. This is supposed to be a 0 0.687. Go ahead and measure that. Come on. I know it's not 0 0.650. Come on, measure correctly. There we go. 0 0.686. So it's down one. So it's 0 0.001 off. Let's go ahead and try the other Azodin back, which is also a 0 0.687 according to Azodin. Point six eight seven and a half. It's pretty close. That's point zero 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 five off. All right, on to the last set. We got our two CP barrel backs. This one is supposed to be a point six eight nine, pretty standard universal size. Point six eight nine. And this says it is point six eight nine right on the dot. So no difference there. Can the other one hold up and put the $60 CP2 piece barrel above everybody else as far as quality control? 
uh, 0.689 as well is what this is supposed to be. Point six eight nine and a half. So it's only point zero 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 five off. Point zero 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 five off. All right. So going back through all these, um, the die UL barrels are one size off. They both say they should be six eight four. Um, one way or the other, they were either six eight five or six eight three. Um, so that's not too terrible. Uh, the Eclipse Shaft 4 barrel, one was Dead Nuts, which I think is was this orange one, um, the Deep Hunter. However, the Super Blue one was two sizes off. It says it should be 681. It was actually 683. Uh, the two Empire ones were just way off. We're not even going to deal with that. Um, the two Glass Fiber Boom Sticks were one and a half sizes off and a half size off. So they're both 684, I believe, is what they should be. So one of them was like six eight five and a half. The other one was six eight four and a half. So it's pretty pretty good. Uh, the freak inserts. This one was only half size off. It said six eight nine. It's actually six eight nine and a half. However, the six eight seven was actually six eight nine, which is a pretty big deal with freak inserts, considering they do every you know every other size, basically. Uh, the two Azoden carbon fiber barrels. One was just one size off, so it was a six eight eight instead of a six eight seven, like it said. The other one was only half a size off, so it was six eight seven and a half instead of the six eight seven that it said. First CP barrel was right on the money. The other one was only half off, so it should be six eight nine. It was actually six eight nine and a half, and the other one was exactly six eight nine. So going through and looking at this, if you average these out, um, the CP barrels were only off averaged between only obviously only two pieces a very small sample size um, but if you averaged out the CP barrel was on average off by uh, 0 0.00025 um, so it was only off by a quarter of a size averaged between the two the azoden carbon fiber barrel between the two on average um, was off by point zero 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 seven five so it was off by three quarters of a size between the two now again i'm referring to a i'm just referring to make this easier of a size as um 0.684 that is a size 0.685 that is a size that's what i'm referring to it as um the freak barrels on average were off by one and a quarter size so not too terrible. So 1.25 for the freak. And there goes my phone. Again, super unprofessional. Um, the die carbon fiber barrels were off on average by um, three quarters of a size. Uh, the pipe barrels were off on average by, oh man, this is gonna be hard. Uh, let's see, that's six. We're off by three sizes. Uh, the shaft four barrels were off by one size on average, and the die UL on average was off by one size as well. So the best average quality control and everything actually goes to the CP barrel. They're the most on the money as far as the sizes go between between the small sample size. Uh, the next best is a tie between the Azoden carbon fiber barrel and the die carbon fiber boom stick at three quarters of a size off. And then the next best, you have the shaft four and the die ultralight are average of one size off. And then after that, um, the freak average of one and a quarter size off. And then the pipe barrel is an average of three sizes off. So overall, the best sizing goes CP, Azoden, um, Azoden, and Die CF, Eclipse, Die Ultralight, Freak, Pipe Barrels. So that doesn't, that's not looking into how the polishing and everything is on the inside. Uh, this is just a look at how good the companies are, are actually getting the size of the barrel to where they say it should be and what it actually is. Um, so obviously 
a bigger sample size would be more helpful, but that would be like an 18 million hour long video. Um, so this is just a small sample size uh, about, again, how good uh, the companies are at actually making the barrels the size that they say they are. Um, so a little surprising, actually, I think. I figured uh, Eclipse and Die would have been hands down the best, and then shortly maybe followed by The Freak, um, but obviously not. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for another video coming up shortly where we actually take a look at all these bore sizes and see why this actually matters. Um, that is a video coming up, obviously. If we did that all in one video, it'd be a huge video. So again, stay tuned, guys. Coming up soon, hopefully, uh, within the next, I'd say, week, um, a video will be going up about why all of this that we actually just did actually matters in the first place and what it actually does for you to make the barrel size, uh, the barrel bore size and the paint size actually match up. So we're going to go through and tell you why that actually matters. But today, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If not, I hope you were entertained. If you were by any means, any one of those things, I'd really appreciate it if you click that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. And that's all we got for you guys this time. So we will see you next time.